All right, one of the fun things I like to explain, I get asked all the time, is how do you guys know you're picking the right mushroom? I mean, in your mind, you imagine there's just all these mushrooms and everyone says, well, they all look so similar to each other. But uh, it really would be like, it would be like going to Mars, and there's a garden, and you don't know what any of those vegetables are, you personally, except for the tomato. You're like, those are tomatoes. And all the rest of the weird alien stuff growing, you're not touching that. So, although, yes, we're mushroom harvesting experts, a chanterelle is a chanterelle is a chanterelle. They're really easy to identify. And as you're going along, you know, oh, here's a chanterelle, you know, that's fantastic. But what's this? You know, who knows and who cares? It's not edible. What about this one? Who knows? Who cares? Little brown LBM. So you don't have to know 4,621 species. Once you get accustomed and used to picking the ones that are important. Stuff that looks like this. You can just walk by that. Now this one here happens to be saffron milky cap. But, yeah, you can eat it. Lactarius deliciosus, but we're not gonna. It's not actually that good. Certainly not as good as the name would imply. Far from deliciosus. Here we go again. What's that? Don't know, don't care. I'm picking 10,000 chanterelles a day. You're gonna very get accustomed to what that is and not mistake it for a false chanterelle or anything else. Just like you're not gonna go out and pick raspberries and confuse them with strawberries. Okay? Pick what you know. Leave the rest. Thank you. Yes. Always pick what you know.